remember, I have three cars on order right now and none of them are here. So I can't believe I'm saying this. My garage is empty at home. I need a new daily. The only thing I have at home is this Ferrari 458 rear bumper. And I can't drive this. When I was purchasing my first supercar, I was in between a Ferrari 458 or a Lamborghini 580-2. I would still obviously love a Lamborghini, but today we go car shopping. First, I need a car in order to go car shopping, which leaves me to drive LA. Now, this is not a paid ad. These guys actually hit me up on Instagram knowing I was in the market for my next supercar, DM'd me and said, hey, whenever you want to test drive a car, we're happy to loan you one. I'm a little biased say before buying a supercar it's probably a good idea to spend a day with one and that's exactly what I'm doing here over at Drive LA. You guys got quite the collection here. At least if this were my garage there'd be a couple shit boxes in here as well. How often do you get the chance? to be in a beautiful garage with this many supercars. This is a dream. Now I have to decide what I'm going to drive. Right off the bat, we have a Lamborghini Huracan Evo. This is a 5.2 liter V10. I myself am leaning towards something bigger than an eight cylinder. As you know, maybe a V10 or a V12, but something else could persuade me like the Ferrari F8. This is so beautiful. I'm such a sucker for the front hood scoop. The red, I miss. I might have to go back to it on my own Ferrari, but this is a three 9 liter twin turbo V8. Very similar to the 720S. My good friend, I hate to say best friend, I don't wanna give him too much credit. Alex Choi has a 720S, he absolutely loves it, but I also see him get stranded a lot because of electrical issues. So if I did get one, I'd have to get one that's still under warranty, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But I think that's also where I could consider something like an STO. Now I'm talking as if price doesn't matter. Price definitely matters. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm only here to rent a car to experience it, but I'm already talking about buying one of these. The STO 5.2 liter V10, highly track focused, yet I've never driven one. I have never driven an STO. There's still a new car in my opinion, and I do have to experience that. Maybe I'll rent this today to kind of get an idea of what one of these machines is like. I could get an R8. I could buy an R8. I could twin turbo that, but then I'm gonna need another daily for my daily. I don't know if I'm gonna modify it yet. I gotta think about it. I think. I think as much as a McLaren would be fun, I'm really just going for something that's bigger than eight cylinders this time. <sighs> I'd like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Anchor. Uni, what are you doing? Anchor is the world's number one mobile charging brand with 200 million plus products sold in over 140 countries. These guys have been pioneering charging technology for 10 years and today, today we've been asked to share with you their best multi-device fast charging lineup yet, the Anchor GAN Prime. These chargers are higher capacity, fast charging, ultra compact, and portable. With the ability to charge higher wattage devices such as your computer, mobile phone, and tablet, the GAN Prime line gives users the freedom to travel with one charger for multiple devices. Anchor's Power IQ 4.0 automatically detects the power requirements of your devices and dynamically distributes output between them in real time to deliver faster charging to all your devices with increased energy efficiency through new generation GAN technology. And speaking of heat, Anchor's Active Shield 2.0 enhances protection by intelligently monitoring temperature and adjusting the power output to safeguard your connected devices. That's right, no more burning yourself on other competitors' chargers. Now, I know how crazy you guys are about the environment, that's why I put a big block in the Mustang, but Anchor's got you covered. When you purchase an Anchor GAN Prime product, you're directly powering a greener world by reducing e-waste due to Anchor's multi-port design. So do yourself a favor, click the link in the description below to grab yourself an Anchor GAN Prime Charger today. Thank you Anchor for sponsoring today's episode. Now let's get back to the video. Can I take this one out? Can I rent this one? Uh, that one's rented today, so you oh, can't. Oh no, the STO. I have to come back for an STO. Maybe there'll be one over at West Coast. You got this beauty right here though. Look at this, this beautiful rear wheel drive V10 with uh, some fresh tires, right? 
of course. Of course. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do anything reckless with a car that's not mine, but this is beautiful. I'm loving the colorway. This reminds me of Leonardo Gray, but it's Lamborghini, so I guess it can't be that color because it's an Audi, although Lamborghini does own Audi or vice versa. I digress. This interior paired with the gray exterior is one of my favorite colorway combinations, especially when you do a little bright orange accent on the outside. You can see the calibers are in that orange color accent. Mwah, chef's kiss. All right, we, we gotta get on the road. Fire up! <laughs> oh God. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Remember kids, always drive in track mode. with the sriracha, like two yeah. orders of it. Two grande salted caramel cold foam cold brews. Can I get a soy milk green tea latte? <laughs> a soy milk green tea latte. I think that's all. Do we have cup holders for all that? I don't think there's cup holders. I think that is a $2,000 option for Lamborghinis and we don't have a cup holder in this car. And we just got three coffees. <laughs> and you are white. I'm feeling risky today. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> Step on it, I wanna step on it, but I won't! I won't because Moss is holding the drinks! I can hold on tight! <laughs> Again, this is not sponsored, but I do appreciate Ooh, a good stingray. No, I do appreciate Drive LA for giving me the opportunity to have a supercar to daily drive to see if maybe a V10 Lamborghini is something that I want to go with or maybe something else, but this really helps me to understand simple things like cup holders, definitely a necessity. <laughs> I want to, I want to, but I can't. Okay, I did, I did. <laughs> Man, we made impeccable timing getting to West Coast Exotics. They have the RN That's and the Huracan sitting outside already. <laughs> when it comes to buying a supercar, you already know there's no other place like West Coast. This is where I bought my Ferrari, and this is where I plan to buy whatever I purchase next. What's up? Well, how Good the to heck see you. are you? It's been so long. I'm... Now you don't think I would show up empty-handed, do you? Well, never. There's what? something in your office. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
You're so And nice. the sriracha's in there. Thank you. I got extra too. I was going to take home if you need another one. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> this is absolutely 100% real. <laughs> I have one in my purse too. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. I'm like, got to stay strapped, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're talking cars off camera. Yeah, and about what you're driving today. Which yeah, is what? so the which is the Evo. I haven't seen. I haven't seen. You saw what I posted on Instagram, yes. which is why you know the collection. Yeah, exactly. I wanted the STO, but it's already rented. And then I mentioned the F8. And as much as I love Ferrari, I want an F8. I'm thinking my next supercar needs to be something bigger than an eight-cylinder. Ooh, I like which, that idea. Yeah, which is why I drove the V10 yeah, here. V10 or. V12? Yes. Are you open to V12? Yes. That's my, I think that's what I want. Recently, I just want V12 too. In the old man way. I bought an S65 AMG. Oh, I love Six it. liter twin turbo V12. Not as cold as an Aventador. What else is even 12 cylinder that makes sense? A Murcielago. Murcielago. F12. Ooh. I like F12s. Well, why are you here today? I want to go shopping. Can I buy this? Yeah. It's street legal, Two million dollars. Right? It's street legal in certain places like Florida where you could ride like a carrot down the street or something. <laughs> <laughs> For two million dollars, I feel like an F40 would be the direction I would go. Yeah, this is a 1997 Daytona winning Riley Scott Ford factory race car that's been like fully restored. This is so cool. Yeah. Look how slick down the front is. Look how wide it is. Look at the arches and the vents over them and the headlights and the grill and... Look at these lights in the front. This thing is wild. I'm just saying, this Pontiac Trans Am is sexy. I would sell my GNX for one of those. This is nice. I love the color. Carbon ceramic brakes, center lock wheels. What year is this? 2018. 2018. I love the teal blue with the black. Yeah. So what's cool about this one is obviously all the carbon and everything, but it has white stitching. I was just talking to a client about this car today. And he wanted to change the calipers to Verde Ithaca, you know, the factory. Yeah, the no, color, this is beautiful. Which color. I think would like, I would like, but the teal just like makes yeah. it pop. Yeah. These are fast. I've driven the Calvo 3000 horsepower Viper. 3000. That breaks your mind. It was turned down to a conservative 1800 when I drove it though. Did that have a sequential box in it? It did. <laughs> that thing was crazy. Calvo makes some cool stuff. That thing was batty. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know like how the, well I do know how they put the power down, Motec traction control and stuff. Yep. But still, that 1800 it's, horsepower. It's an insane number. With rear wheel drive. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, traction, sorry, what? <laughs> Meanwhile, like you see these crashed every 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, at least you guys take off the bumper guards on them. Oh yeah, we like. <laughs> Ever since the beginning, even whenever that was like a thing and people were keeping them on there, I was like, we're taking them off. <laughs> That's for shipping. You guys remember when I drove one of these? I actually had it for a while. Maserati dropped it off. It sounds so good. Yeah, I so really enjoyed having it. I love this color too. We even have a twin turbo Huracan. Let's see if you can see it out the bumpers in the back. Oh yeah. Look at that turbo inside there. And you got two of them. One over here and one over here. I bet this sounds amazing. Can we fire this? Do you have the key for it? I'll get it. Okay. Right, I think we get the key for this. I think we get the key for the Aventador. And what else? Oh God, I don't know. There, there is something like this that could possibly change my mind against a V12. This is insane. This thing drives very nice. I fortunately had the opportunity to drive one at Laguna Seca actually. Wow. It's a long story, but these handle very nice. They do. And the, a lot of people don't know the difference of the engines in these. This is a four liter V8, just like that one, right? Mm -hmm. Except Mercedes did like threw away the old engine and did flat plane crank in this and it sounds so good and it yeah and it sounds different than that it's actually pretty quiet so most people do like downpipes in tune which is weird because like these cars are a lot of money this yeah. car whenever it first came out was 300,000 over sticker i don't know if a hurricane is for you though but is a lamborghini for me and this is such a cool opportunity for you guys to see the differences one being the rear-wheel drive and one being the all-wheel drive the all-wheel drive is a lot more aggressive you guys can see in the diffusers oh yeah this diffuser looks way more aggressive than this one should might i be you, considering other options you might, you might need to spice it up a little bit what i mean you, you're, thinking? you already have like every domestic everything in the entire <laughs> world covered. Most of the JDM covered. I mean, we could throw a in some. A little Italian. Yeah, some Italian, you know, a little Italian one night a week. British? And, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, ooh, I just got in a twin turbo B12. What? 
Aston Martin. Uh, no, it's definitely not you. For some reason, I've never been drawn to Aston Martins. I think they're sexy and they're beautiful, but uh, for like a, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well first it sounds like we're kind of going down the Lamborghini path right now, the more we talk. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well with the Super Trofeo and like not being able to drive that on the street and really not being able to drive that car, I, I think that you need to like... Harness the Lamborghini yeah. energy. <laughs> Tame the bull, yes. And you know, I was considering a Lamborghini before buying a Ferrari and I know I'm throwing these words around like I can afford this, but I wouldn't be buying a new car. I'd be buying something used with high miles yeah. and making it my own in a way. I don't think I could afford to roll off a lot or even like the 2018s. What do those go for right now? It was 470, now it's 460. And they stopped the production. But I mean, that's the market on them. It's, yeah. The market's And it's gone insane. up. They've gone up so much. Every car has gone up. Yeah, it's true. Especially like Ferrari and Lamborghini products. I like the Aventador. Mercy Lagos are amazing. But you have so many cars of like that era. I and know, before. I know. That's why I was thinking in Aventador, the modern technology with the single clutch transmission. Nope. Uh, Here, sit in this real quick okay. and start it up. Fuck, I like this. It is nice. I might have to sell a few cars to be able to, to afford this. Yeah, but what would you get rid of? That's the tough part. I think, I think I'm canceling one of the three cars that I have on the way. So that would free up some money some money please comment below let me know what you think what i should do and maybe you're like oh fuck it don't get an invented or get some old muscle car get a camaro live that v8 life i'm leaning towards something v12 something modern and this is kind of what's calling me right now i just i need to save up i'm not saying we're gonna do this tomorrow we'll start it up and see how it sounds deal <laughs> oh my god <laughs> stuff's over here. I want to rev it, but it's cold. It's a little bit. A little blue. It wouldn't even let me. It needs to warm up first. So good every time. I know. All the right. Aventador V12 is just like, I don't know, it's made of something different. I will say, this thing is very bitey. The second that clutch grabs, yeah. it's like, let's go. This feels so different than the Evo. This yeah. feels like a different car Doesn't entirely. It feel like you have like two cars. Yeah. Like, it's so big. Like the road front. It is, is bigger. It's so much bigger and faster. Oh my god. Holy hell! Having the all-wheel drive definitely helps. The real drive on the Evo, you're spinning tire. If and when I'm able to get an Aventador, which I just feel like the prices are gonna keep going up. I feel like it's a good investment to buy a V12 because I think they're just gonna keep going up in value since Lamborghini's not making them anymore. So in a way, it's an investment, right? It's not the okay. There's like two thousand horsepower, three thousand horsepower cars. I don't really care. Like this how, is factory. How it, how it feels is there's an alarm going off. There's an alarm going off right now. <laughs> Amelia's like, make it louder, and then it already sets off car alarms. That thing's quick, and I didn't notice the drop off in power either. Yeah, no, it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling. I got, it, I got to hear the crisp down shifts. Oh, oh, good morning. One more. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. If you drive one of these and you don't like it, there's something wrong with you. Buy a Prius. I think I'm gonna buy an Aventador. I think that's the next car. I think we all know Aventador time. <laughs> Being you, could you see yourself in a Huracan Evo? Or is this like, I, I feel like Aventador is just more you because it's more like I, rock and roll and out there. And I think from what I've searched so far, I might be able to find an old like 2013, 14 Aventador for, for cheaper, cheaper than, than an Evo. Yeah. Which, so, how do you how do you not do that? I know. I was gonna drive the Twin Turbo Huracan, but that car is currently for off-road use only. Um, but they can give you more information on any of the vehicles that are for sale. If you guys are interested, just give them a call. Of course, they'll take care of you. And I mean, I've always wanted a car where the doors go up. As silly as that sounds, I thought about just installing uh, these types of doors on my C8 Corvette, but... No. <laughs> Absolutely not. God. What are you saying? God, I like if this you, a lot. If you... There's a reason why Lamborghini doesn't put Lambo doors on a Huracan. They save it for the 12 cylinder cars. You need the cars, V12, the special baby. special stuff. So you can't put it on a Corvette or a Prius. I, I would rather have them on your Prius 
then I'm the seat. <laughs> you know what? That'd be pretty badass, though. I know the tri tip center exhaust. Look what at that. the. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, I have some thinking to do. I have some budgeting to do. Do I really have to say goodbye to this? I mean, technically I don't, but. No, technically, yeah. <laughs> Come on in. No, it's weekend. I'm gonna have dreams about this car. Aventador is definitely like a milestone though, you isn't it? You gotta get one too, and then we can be twinning. I do want one. I'm gonna get one, a little roadster action. There you know we go, what I mean? there we go. We'll talk soon. <laughs> West Coast exotic cars. I'm gonna link them in the description below. I bought my Ferrari here. I, I buy and sell my cars here at this point and I just highly recommend them. They're open to the public. Anyone's more than welcome to come in here and take a look at the cars as well. Ask for Hunter, tell them I sent you. <laughs> we are now leaving one Lamborghini to say hello to all my little friends. But we gotta make a stop first on our way out. Stay strapped, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> to head back into town but I cannot come out here and not say hi to my friends over at Chief Bruce. So I'm just gonna pop in and give a quick hello and get back on the road. <laughs> hi! I literally just got here from SEMA. Oh perfect time. I heard a GTR. No Lambo, Evo. Really? Yeah. Yours? I wish. Is it what you're trying to buy next? I'm thinking of an Aventador. Okay. So did you test drive the Aventador? I did. What'd you think? I loved it. Aren't they great? Yeah, they Fucking are. Fun. I think I want a few twelve. Absolutely, nothing beats it. Just leave it naturally aspirated. I was gonna say, would you twin turbo? No, no, no. <laughs> you, for what though? It's not. It's it's so big. Single clutch diaphragm. I know. The engines aren't that strong. You'd have to rebuild it. It's just not cost effective to try to make it fast when you have all the other fast cars. I feel just that. The flex, let it sound great. I know, just put an exhaust That's on it, it and call exhaust, it a day. Test pipes and a tune and send it. Hey. Just a little, just a little something to say goodbye. Just a little. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, oh come yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. It's just an ambulance. Coming in hot. <laughs> So we just got back at Drive LA. Again, huge shout out to them. They're so sweet. They've offered me to keep the Lamborghini through the weekend, but unfortunately, your girl leaves again tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye. Let's drop off the car and let's head back. So at the beginning of the year, I ordered three new cars. All three of them were supposed to arrive around June. I don't have any of them. And it sounds like all three of them are now supposed to tentatively arrive on the same week. And since ordering these cars almost a year ago, I've kind of had a change of heart. I think I might cancel the order on one because there's a new direction that I want to go. I need you guys to comment below what you think of the Aventador, what you guys think I should buy next. I'll be honest, it sounds so fucking weird saying that I want to buy an Aventador when I have three cars on the way because I need a new daily, yet I'm gonna cancel one of the three orders because I'm trying to be responsible. But yeah, I think I want to buy an Aventador and I think I'm gonna start looking at prices and if anyone who owns one who watches this channel wants to sell me out a smoking deal, hit me up. Ikro, we out here. We love. Bye, oh, okay. <laughs> What child did you let drive an Aventador? I think it's six and a half. Six and a half? It's pretty big. That's what she said. <laughs>